perhaps a night to forget, Curtis? Yeah, um, started badly and faded would be my um, would be my assessment. Really, it was one of those nights really, um, and the result was was not great. And it's like I've lost Greg for a long time and Alex Wilde as well has done his hamstring. So yeah, couldn't have got any worse really. Something you talked about before the game was matching AFC Mansfield in everything that they did. Yeah, we didn't. No, I don't think we did. I thought we were second best, especially in the middle of the park, you know, second to the knockdowns and the second balls. It wasn't a game of football, like I said before the game, the pitch was, was very, very difficult. So it was a game of, like I said, hitting areas and getting on the second and they did it a lot better than us really. Is that something that the players need to take from the game? Well, it's crazy really, because on Saturday that was something we did really well. You know, we picked up probably 80% of the second balls and today it was the opposite. We picked up probably 20% if that. Um, and we never just really got to grips with that. And it, it gave them a foothold in the game. And like I said, there wasn't really much quality from either side, but I think they um, they probably played the percentages better than we did. And then game of fine margins, if a penalty goes in, it perhaps changes the game a little bit. Yeah, it's one of them, you know, when, when we got the penalty, I, I didn't fancy us to score because it kind of was one of those nights. Nothing was dropping our way and I think Greg's missed a penalty since I've been here. I think he's, he's had five or six. So, yeah, when he, when he missed the penalty and then taking the penalty, he, he took it and felt his groin pop at the same time. So, yeah, double whammy. He's going to be out a, a while and, you know, he's like I said, I think I said on Saturday that Greg's uh, pretty irreplaceable but for us. So, we're going to have to find a solution for that. He's almost hit it too hard, hasn't he? Trying to compensate from not really being in the game as much as you'd expect. Yeah, him, maybe. I think he's gone for power down the middle and, and, and got underneath it and it's you know it's, it's risen and, and hit the crossbar. And it's one of those things. Like I said, I think that's his sixth penalty since I've been here and he's scored five. So, yeah, it just seems to be one thing after another tonight. Again, before the game, you said about players having the shirt and the opportunity to sort of keep it due to the performances on Saturday. Is it the case that they can't keep their shirts after this one? Well, like I said, we've, we've picked up we've picked up some injuries tonight, so there's going to have to be changes. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to get on the phone this week because, like I said, we're, we've lost Jack Walters, we've lost Alex Wilde, we've lost Greg Smith. So we need to replace them for Saturday. Cause like I said, we've got a squad of 14. That's three gone, so we're down to 11. So, two yeah, goalkeepers. So, yeah, two <laughs> keepers. Yeah. So that's that's kind of where we're at. Jake Scott to come back in. Yeah. Sorry, Jake Scott will be training with us Thursday, so that that'll be a big help because. Um, like I said, we're going to be light in that area now. But looking ahead to Warrington? Yeah, I said to the lads in there, you know, all season we're going to, we're going to be Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. And, and, and like I said, you know, after the game, you can't get too high when you, when you win and you can't get too low when you lose. Tonight's a, a, a low spot, no doubt about it, but we've got to go again Thursday. You know, Thursday becomes an important session and we've got to make sure we're right for Saturday. And, like I said, we, it, it, all season is going to be about bouncing back. We're not going to have it all our own way. You know, we've we, we kind of knew the situation coming into the season what it was going to be. Um, so yeah, it's just going to be one of those things. Going to have to pick the lads up. There's no point getting stuck into anyone or digging anybody out. Because like I said, we need them. We, we've got another game Saturday, so we come thick and fast. And just a final word for the supporters that made the trip. Yeah, it probably not the uh, not the finest night watching games with Trinity um, so yeah it was it was one of them fair play for them to come in all this way and oh, you know at this point we couldn't deliver a better performance but like I said we, over a long season we have nights like that and tonight was, was one of ours and it's how you bounce back how you bounce back yeah and like I said we, like all season like I said Saturday Tuesday Saturday Tuesday so we have to keep a, a, a level playing ground and like I said people getting excited after Saturday and I said I said then you know don't get don't get too high and don't get too low. So it's important tonight we don't get too low. Cheers, guys. Cheers, mate.